Joining us now is Dr. Richard Lutz, who is Director of the Institute of Marine and Coastal Science for Rutgers University. Dr. Lutz, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Last year you talked a lot about the uh, increasing occurrence of environmental disasters and how we need to be better preparing for them. It's a year later, how are we doing? We're not doing all that great. What we've done is we've kind of put a finger in the dike and, and uh, said we've got to deal with short-term term issues. We've got boardwalks that have been destroyed, et cetera. That we've got economic issues with hundreds of thousands of people coming through. You've got to stabilize those, but we're not looking at the longer-term solutions that we need to be looking at. So really not a great grade. Well, it's, it's, it's one of those things that you, you have to deal with short-term issues in order to um, deal with, with, with homeless people and, and those that have gotten out of their houses because of Sandy. Uh, if, if we're going to have increasing storms over the coming decades, which we know we are uh, with rising sea level, we've got to look at those longer term solutions and, and we're just not doing very well at that. Talk about some of the work that Rutgers is doing to advance the field. We, we deal with everything from the melting ice in the Arctic to the um, increasing ice in the Antarctic. Um, our fleet of gliders and HF radar systems are state of the art. They're, they're the tools that are now letting us um, predict the intensity of the storms. We're good at tracking storms, we're not very good at, at intensity. When Hurricane Irene came through at Category 3, uh, it did almost nothing. Sandy comes through, it's Category 1, nobody really cared. What they didn't look at was the stratification of the water column and when they started looking at that, then they said that's why we're getting the storm surge three feet higher than we thought we were going to get. So we, we're also dealing with synthetic biofuels, uh, fuel from sunlight, um, uh, increased uh, grid storage. How do we capture that, that uh, energy that we get from, um, uh, from sunlight and, and, and the wind and store that? So uh, a series of very exciting things right now going on at the university. What are some of the things, I guess, that aren't being discussed? The things that are being discussed are, unfortunately, still, is climate change real? Um, the, uh, uh, is, is sea level rising. Um, those are not the things that, 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 that should be discussed. The, um, the things that aren't being discussed are those longer term solutions. Um, one of the things, if you back up uh, Edison over 100 years ago, um, was, was saying we need to put substations for electricity where we have the most demand. Um, that's on the shore. Um, you, you, you back up 100 years, that wasn't looking ahead for 100 years, as he couldn't look ahead, and, and yet where those substations are right now is a big, big problem. We need to be looking at where we're going to be in the year 2100. The, the realistic estimates of, of sea level rise are anywhere from, from about a half a meter by the year 2050 to uh, a, a meter by the year 2100. Uh, if you believe those, those estimates, you've got to be preparing for those estimates and you've got to be discussing what we're going to do to, to deal with those estimates. Wow. So what are you most compelled, I guess, to explore at the conference this year? I, I guess what we're most, you, you've got a unique set of individuals here at the conference. You've got everything from government officials to private individuals to academicians, et cetera. Uh, to what extent with what we're doing in an academic environment, is that being translated into decisions that are being made at, at governmental levels, whether they be NOAA, whether they be FEMA, et cetera, and, and how do we, um, how, how, how are we being listened to in terms of what we are saying in terms of the academic community, and that's going to be a blast dealing with, with those individuals and interacting. So I'm looking forward to a good conference. Me too. Thank <laughs> you very much for having me here. Thank you for coming. Great.